Hey, this is Mike Moo. We're taking a look at the Fuse W card. This was sent to me a couple months ago. Just full disclosure, I got sent this for free um, with no strings attached. I can say whatever I want about it. Uh, they did not pay me to say this, nor are they reviewing any of this. And they sent this to me because I emailed them about some videos that I did about the Fuse card uh, for the version of the NFC that the version of the EMV that actually never came through and probably never will. So if you're interested in those, I have three videos about that series. You should check this out. This is specifically just an unboxing of the Fuse W card, which uh, is for cryptocurrency. So any type of cryptocurrency, this is supposed to be supported. Uh, full disclosure, I'm actually not going to use this. I'm going to give it to someone else to use and I'm going to get their feedback about it. I see no reason to use this if you already have a great way to secure your cryptocurrency. But as I just briefly discussed uh, with my brother, he thinks that this is one of those apocalyptic type of uh, cards that may be able to store your stuff real safely. And I guess that's the main reason why. I don't have a lot of cryptocurrency, so this doesn't matter to me. This looks exactly like the Fuse card, just about exactly the same, obviously without the EMV portion. And you got the nice little LCD screen and three little security buttons over there. This will connect to your phone via Bluetooth and will support the encryption uh, directly on the wallet itself, but also through the app. So it's important that you make sure you download and use the latest apps only. Same charging interface through here. It connects through these two contacts right over here and a micro USB port right over here. You just plug that right in and this will give you a couple of charges on the go, even if you're not near a USB micro uh, charging port. Inside here, we just have some, uh, I guess it's just user guide, manual and caution. Obviously, this is not going to be waterproof. Don't drop in the water. Uh, Fuse says they don't store your recovery word or pin codes. If you lose that, good luck. You're never going to get it back, so be very careful. They do give you a recovery sheet, which is just a piece of paper that you can store 24 different things, plus, plus a private passphrase. Uh, but you can also use an online uh, password recovery or password manager software. That is definitely something I recommend, even though it's nice that they give you a couple of recovery sheets to store your codes on here, which up to 24 different sections long. All right, finally, uh, let's see. In the event of losing a Fuse W hardware wallet, you can recover your wallet with the words that you have. Make sure you wrote these words down correctly on these recovery sheets, or you can type it in through your password manager. Um, but yeah, if, if you lose it, that's it, there's no recovering back. Still, this is probably one of the only solutions out there that can store your cryptocurrency. You should check it out. If you're interested in it, it's $99 right now on Amazon and is fully supported by Fuse, which is a company in Korea, but they have an office down in Orange County. They are a real company, they're still around, and they are still producing and selling these at this point. All right, that's did for this video. Thanks for watching. Please give it a like, subscribe for more. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them, even though full disclosure, I will not be using this card, but I can definitely reach out to Fuse and also uh, people who are using it to get some answer for you. Thanks for watching and check out my link down below if you're interested. And I'll catch you in the next video.